We're kind of jumping up and down a little bit at the moment because deep in here I have a zucchini. No, that would be a cucumber. And then again over here we have another cucumber and we have a big bug there. But it's a bug and I can see more cucumbers in there. I, I juice a lot of cucumbers so I want them and I can see them starting to grow everywhere there. Now we can see, where can we see? We can see we have the male plant. Yep, there we go. And we can tell when something's when it's a male because there's no fruit at the bottom of that flower. Whereas if you have a look here, you see that there was the fruit at the at the right hand side. Sorry, the flower at the right hand side, and then there's the fruit. So I've been going through. I had a whole heap of the male. Um, let's get that back in focus. There you go. I had a whole heap of male flowers, which are still mostly there. And then we've started to get the females and the fruit coming through. So it's been awesome to go through because I'm actually making use of all of this space and letting it dangle down. And it's also dangling up around that side of the system. And I'm about to plant another one on the right hand side to dangle down that side. Cucumbers can grow vertically, but there's nothing to say that they can't grow down, which is evidenced by this is growing down and doing its thing. It's grabbing onto the pipes where it needs to. So it's it's doing an awesome job. So I'm very excited. This is this is the first time I'm growing cucumbers. There's a few things that are first for me on the uh, I guess it's because I'm up in a different climate, I'm used to growing different things. So cucumbers are definitely one of just also growing some uh, rock melon out front, which is pretty awesome. But I'm gonna do a comparison of the cucumbers in the aquaponic system versus in the soil. So I will be doing that just to demonstrate. I don't have to worry about the water here. That's one of the advantages of your aquaponic system. You've got your constant water and nutrients in the system. So people can forget to water a garden or have you watered it enough, especially if it's a, a vegetable or fruit that needs lots and lots of water. In the case of cucumbers, melons and things like that, they need lots of water. So it's absolutely fantastic that I'm doing it this way. Got lots of water happening, so I'm super excited. Oh, I am. I'm just. I'm so excited. 